Right. Chapter one, cardio anatomy and physiology. The heart, the muscular organ, about the size of a of a man's closed fist. Um, the fun its function is to pump enough blood to meet the body's metabolic needs. Beats 60 to 100 times per minute, located in the uh, thoracic cavity and the mediastinum, mediastinum above the diaphragm, behind the sternum, in front of the spine. Top of the heart is the base, bottom is the apex. So here in uh, figure one, this diagram just shows you essentially what it looks like. Your thorax, so that's your, your throat, now your, your left lung base, your right lung, be over here, you'll see the, the, the apex is down here, and the apex is the bottom of the heart. So now we get into the layers of the heart. First, we have the epicardium. It's the outermost layer. contains the cord contains coronary arteries. We have your myocardium. It's the middle. It's the thickest layer made of muscle. And then you have your endocardium. It's the thin innermost layer. Um, forms the heart valves. Cardiac conduction system um, is in this layer. Right. So again. Um, Making sure that we have a basic understanding of the anatomy of the heart, again, this is going to help with the interpretations later on because you'll be able to knowing what parts, where something is located in the heart and how that part of the heart is read on the EKG based off the leads that view that area of the heart, you'll be able to pinpoint exactly what's going on and that way you can make the right interpretation. Make your pericardium. It's a double wall sac that encloses the heart, serves as support and protection. The pericardium fluid is found between the layers of the, the pericardium, minimize friction of the layers as they rub together with each heartbeat. All right? Uh just essentially like and to break it down in simplest forms is Lubrication, that's what the, the, the pericardium fluid is, right? As your heart contracts with every beat, again, because where it's, it's located, those, with those layers all rubbing together, that will cause, um, that will cause a bit of, bit of friction. It's like if you rub your, if you rub your hands together, initially your hands will start to get warm and after a while, Hands will get red and they'll get raw, so on and so forth. So that's why you have the, the pericardium fluid. That's why they, it plays a, a major part to keep down that friction. Right? Um, heart chambers, the right atrium, receives the oxygenated blood from the body, delivers blood to the right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs for oxygen. Right? The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs, delivers blood to the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps blood out to the entire body. The atria deliver blood um, to the ventricles beneath them, the thin wall, thin wall, low pressure chambers. Right? Ventricles are high pressure chambers. Left ventricle generates high, highest pressures. Le left ventricle is three times uh, muscle bulk of the right ventricle. All right, so we see here. You guys can view, make sure you view that. Then your your books, and it's just showing you how how the blood flows and all the the parts inside the heart. All right, the heart valves. You have four of them. You have your uh, semilunar valve, the pulmonary valve, located between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. The, the aortic valve, located between the left ventricle and aorta. Right, atrial ventricular or the AV valve, 
tricuspid valve located between the right atrium and ventricle has three cusps. Um, a mitral valve located between left atrium and ventricle has two cusps. Rich heart valves open and close is based, based on changes in pressure. Open only in the direction of the blood flow. Closure is res uh, responsible for the sounds made by the beating the beating heart. So, since when you listen to someone's heart, when you place a stethoscope over, over the chest, what you hear is just essentially the opening and closing of the valves. Right? The great vessels. You have five great vessels. You have the supervena cava or your SVC. Um, again, a friendly reminder please make sure that you are. That you get associated with the abbreviations because the abbreviations are going to save you a lot of trouble on the, the back end. The abbreviations are why medical terminology is um, are a great part of medical terminology. So if you look at any job description for the hospitals, um, most of the time they have on there, um, knowing medical terminology is one of the requirements. Okay, while we know you can say the supervena cava and be correct, but if you don't know that that's the SVC, if a, if a doctor or a nurse asks you asks you a question about it, you know it's it's not going to look good. So please make sure that you take the time to learn your your abbreviations. All right. Um, so again, the vein that that returns the oxygenate the oxygenated blood to the right atrium from the upper body. Okay, um, vein that returns the oxygenated blood to the right atrium from the lower body. Right, your pulmonary arteries, large artery that takes the oxygenated blood from the right ventricles to lungs, pulmonary veins. Four veins return oxygenated blood from lungs to the left atrium. The aorta, largest artery in the body, sends oxygenated blood throughout the body. Right, blood flow. Through the heart so you have your SVC or IVC from there it goes to the right atrium the tricuspid valve the right ventricle the pulmonary valve pulmonary artery lungs pulmonary veins left atrium mitral right vein left ventricle aortic valve aorta then the body right it just it repeats cardiac system refers to the uh, mechanical events that occur to pump blood. You have two phases. You have your uh, diastole, the ventricle relaxes and fills. Um, the systole, the ventricle contracts and expound. You also know that these are the two things that we're checking for when we're looking for your, when we're checking the blood pressure. You have your systolic and your diastole. All right, the diastole uh, rapid filling phase, the AV valve pops open because of pressure. Uh, guarding from the atrial to ventricles, ventricles fill rapidly. Um, as this flows into the ventricle slow, as pressure equalizes, the, uh, the arterial kick, atrial contract squeezing, remainder of the blood into the ventricles, valve uh, lifts and pushes upward, and shot by by rising pressure in ventricles. Right, so that's what that looks like. All right, continuing on, now we're on the systole. Uh, the IVC, all valves are closed. Ventricles contracted, but no blood is filling. Ventricle ejection. Uh, Semilunar valves open, blood pours into, pours out of ventricles. So, preto diastole, uh, blood flows slowly as pressure equalizes. The isovolmetric relaxation, ventricles relax, valves close due to back pressure from aorta and pulmonary arteries. These are the phases of systole. The blood flow through the uh, systemic circulation. Right, so you have your aorta. 
your arteries, your arterials, capillary bed, venules, veins, vena cava. Right? Oxygenated blood leaves aorta, enters arteries, the arteries narrow into atrials and empty into capillary beds. Nutrient and oxygen um, ext extraction occurs. So essentially what that part right there means is that um, this is where the, the body's the, the, the blood is going to be pulling out anything that it needs uh, from the food that you have consumed or medication or anything like that. Right. The oxygenated blood enters the venules, the venules widen into veins, blood returns to the vena cava and transport back to the heart. Coronary arteries. Heart has its own circulation. Coronary arteries are, arise from base to, of aorta, cruise along epicardium surface of heart, dive into the mitocardium and pr to provide blood supply. Only in diastole is the heart able to feed itself. Your left main, uh, so we, now we're going into the coronary arteries. So your left main coronary artery is the LMCA, provides blood flow to the walls of left ventricle, um, prefaces about 60% of the, the mitocardium. Two main branches, you have the left arterial descending, which are, or your LAD, which is a branch that supplies blood to the um, artery wall of left ventricle. Uh, circumflux, a branch that feeds the lateral wall of left ventricle. Right, uh, right coronary arter artery, the AVC, R RCA, apologize. Um, feeds right ventricle and, and inferior wall of left ventricle gives rise to posterior descending artery of PD, PDA and 70% of people. Um, in other 30%, the PDA rises from circumflex coronary artery. All right, so essentially, like what that means, while majority of the people you can expect to see the blood flowing through their body in a certain pattern. So that means if they have, um, so just to look, look at it like this. Um, the, the, the best way um, I can describe this, or when we're, when we're looking at the, when we're looking at the, the interpretations, this is why um, there can be like some discrepancy, like, Within the interpretations, because um, things run so close, because you just never know, like what the person is going to, um, like how that person blood flow, so that can cause a discrepancy, like within the the interpretations. Again, so you want to be mindful that that you um, you take you just take that into consideration when you when you're looking at them. Like everything that they have to meet. At least 51% of the criteria before you can um, will classify as that interpretation, but don't be thrown off by those little um, those little minute discrepancies that you see on the EKG. All right. Heart cells. So then you have your, where under the heart cells, you have your contractile cells, causes the heart to contract. Um, conduction system cells create and conduct impulse to regulate the cardiac cycle. Nervous controls of the heart. The heart is influenced by the amniotic nervous system, or the ANS. ANS is subdivided into the uh, symptomatic and the parasymptomatic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system mediated by the, the non-epinephrine um, chemical released by the by adrenal gland increases heart rate and blood pressure causes um, pupils to dilate, slows digestion, um, 
fight or flight response triggered by stress, exertion, or fear. The parasympathetic nervous system mediated by the acetylcholine chemical secreted as a result of stimulation of uh, vagus nerve slow, slows the heart rate, decreases blood pressure, enhances digestion, and rest and digest response. 